Hello viewers, welcome once again to the daily devotion on Gov TV and happy weekend. I hope you're having a great time. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this beautiful weekend and another opportunity to share together from your word. We pray that you give us the heart of understanding and make us to be the doers of your word so that we can enjoy your favor continually. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are in lesson 8. Which is environmental impacts on the family. The topic for the adult says, behave your belief. For the youths, watch what you watch. And for the intermediates, guard against world pollution. Today is Saturday, the 22nd day of October. The topic we are considering is avoid bad friends. Avoid bad friends. And our Bible reading is taken from the book of First Corinthians chapter 15 verses 33 and 34. I read, do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. Permit me to read verse 33 again. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. We are looking at environmental impact on the family this week. And we are being admonished this day to avoid bad friends. Bad friends can constitute negative environmental problem for our lives. We have friends, so-called friends, in our neighborhood. We have pairs. We have colleagues in the offices. We have colleagues in schools. Everywhere we are, there are people around us, people who naturally, in our day-to-day -day interactions, we cannot be deal with. But even though we are not called to live in isolation, the Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. And that is why this month, this day, we are being admonished that we should avoid bad friends. We should avoid those people who can constitute pollution for our lives, who can negatively influence us against those virtues that we have learned from the Bible, against those things that we know are good and godly. As individuals, we need to guard against them. As heads of families, we need to guard against them. As wives, as husbands, as children, as Christians generally, we need to guard against bad friends. On the surface, they will not show themselves as being bad. They might come with some subtle suggestions. But those suggestions are clearly against the will of God. Little wonder, the book of Proverbs says, My son, if sinners entice you, consent thou not. We may not be able to prevent the unbelieving world around us from bringing evil suggestions, from giving us unwholesome advice, for showing us bad ways of life to live. But it is our responsibility as Christians to be very sensitive and to be able to say no at every given time to any suggestion from any quarters that will bring us on a collision clash with our Christian beliefs. As parents, we have the responsibility to guide and guard our children against environmental pollution of bad friends. We may not be able to go with them to their schools. We will not be able to go with them here and there. But the quality instruction that we give them in the home, the quality instruction that we give them in the mornings, in the evenings, as we share the word of God together, as we worship together in the house of the Lord, they will go a long way to be, to, to, to stand as guardrails for them 
when they are going along the path of life. It is our responsibility as parents to do this. Remember, when God was to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, he said he would not be disclosed to Abraham because he knew that Abraham would teach his children and his children's children his ways. That's our responsibility as well. For us that are young, we also need to be careful. We may no longer be under the control of our parents again, but there is a father in heaven whose instructions are clearly stated in the word of God and to whom we must give obedience in avoiding bad friends like plague. They cannot take us anywhere by the way of perdition. The Bible says here, evil company corrupts good habits. It is highly impossible for one to maintain a consistent work with God if one is in a consistent relationship with ungodly people. And don't forget, as Christians, we are on an upward swing we are going up. But unbelievers, people that have no fear of God, they are on a downward flow into hell. It is much easier for them to pull you down than for you to pull them up. And therefore, be careful. When they bring suggestions, when they bring advice, when they tell you to do it this way or that way, let your compass be at alert, which is the word of God. Any advice, any instruction, any gentle suggestion that is against the clearly indicated word of God should be thrown out without any apology. It is when we have this strong decision to please God and to avoid bad company that we can say through life without making a shipwreck of our faith. Please remember, be not deceived. Evil communication, evil company corrupts good manners. My prayer is that God will help you to separate yourselves from evil communication, from evil company, no matter how appealing they might be, in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, he who keeps company with the wise shall be wise. But he who keeps company with the foolish will come to harm. May the Lord guide you through this word in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you. Thank you for your word. You have commanded us today. You didn't advise. You didn't plead. You commanded that we should avoid bad friends. Because evil company, evil communication corrupts good manners. We pray for the grace to stand our ground, to maintain our identity, and to say no to every evil company, evil communication, give to us in Jesus' name. And as we keep company with the wise, with the godly, may we, may we remain wise and godly until the day of your coming. Thank you because you have heard us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, thank you for giving us your time this beautiful weekend. Our prayer is that God will make it a pleasant one for you all through. And as you go to worship tomorrow, your worship will be accepted. If you have any questions or comments or contributions, please feel free to communicate with us through those contacts that are scrolling on your screen. Till the next time when we meet again, same time, same station, may the Lord bless you and keep you strong in His grace. Once again, happy weekend. Have a wonderful time.